Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Can you feel it? Can you feel the magic flowing through your veins right now? Because we're in the magical land of the Shivering Isles, and there's so much to do and see, and so much to look at, and so many cool quests to do, and so many cool items to find. I can feel it. I always feel it. The Shivering Isles is one of the very few DLCs that I can constantly return to over and over and over and over and over again and still feel some level of the same level of magic. You know, I was thinking last night, it it's really sad that, you know, as you grow older, you, you, you start to not feel the magic of, of Christmas and Thanksgiving anymore, which was my favorite time ever as a kid. And so, it is nice that I can still feel some sort of, like, nostalgic, childish magic through this game. I'm being all sappy, but I'm also being truthful here. Um, I loved Christmas and, and, and Thanksgiving, and and man, I just remember the days that it started to, to wane my love for it. Not my love for it, but just the feeling I would get, you know, in anticipation of, of Christmas coming around. And it's just not the same anymore, you know? If you're a child right now and you're listening to this video here, and you're thinking, man, I want to be an adult so I can smoke some cigs, and so I can be cool, man. I want to grab you like Adam Sandler grabs that chubby-cheeked kid and I think it's Billy Madison, right? No. Yeah. Whatever the one where he goes back to school and he grabs his, that kid's face and he says, Cherish it. Cherish it. You need to cherish it. Anyways, we met Shiagorath in the last episode, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk to him to get a better understanding of what we're doing. Don't you have a book to read? Or something else very important I told you to do? Yes, we'll head to Zedelian, don't worry, and the book that I'm reading is currently A Dance with Dragons by George R.R. R. Martin. I'm plowing my way through it, it's very, very long. Tell me about this Grey March. Really? No need to trouble yourself with the details of that now. It would just cloud your little mind. What is important is getting to Zedelian. Quickly! Before I get bored. Oh, you wouldn't like me when I'm bored. By the way, notice how his regalia, or whatever you want to call his sort of shirt thing, has, um, has, like, these little spikes over here on the right, or on his left. Again, the, the shirt's, like, split down the middle. How about New Sheoth? Ah, New Sheoth. My home away from places that aren't my home. The current location is much better than some of the prior ones, don't you think? I never saw the prior ones. Shiagora, that would be you. Yes? Speaking to me? Well, I'm he. He's me. And others as well. Or they were, weren't they? Oh, guys, I have to tell you, my stomach... The only thing I ate yesterday was two bowls of Raisin Bran cereal, one in the morning and one at night, uh, to save on some calories, you know, totaling about 1,060 calories total for two bowls. And my stomach is just ripping itself to shreds right now. So I just, I hope, I hope you understand the sacrifice I'm making here doing this video right now at this very second. Oh, it hurts. Shivering Isles. The Isles. The Isles. A wonderful place. I except when it's horrible. Then it's horribly wonderful. Good for a visit. Or for an eternity. And Zedelian. A little busy here. I'm trying to decide what to have for dinner. Oh, how I love eating. One of my favorite things to do. Me too. Please don't mention eating Talk right Haskell now. Talk to Haskell if you need more information. He's got more brains than a brain pie. Oh, brain pie. Perfect. That sounds like something the Scots would eat. Donate. No, my brain is used for other things. You can go now. Run along. Scoot. So let's take a look at Shiagorath before we move on. Like I said, his regalia is sort of split in two. We've got like the... I, I, I don't know if it represents mania and dementia, but if it does, this side obviously would be the, the dementia side. It's spiked and vitriolic. Um, and he's also got this staff here, which I don't know if we can look at real closely, but it's got an eyeball on the top, and it's bloody. There's blood seeping into the wood. Okay, and oh. also, must, uh, much like with the arena quests, I think we're going to talk to Haskill for every main quest um, for every main quest in the Shivering Isles, because I believe he has some interesting insight. The Mad God has given you a task. Surely someone of your copious talent should be able to handle it. 
Let's quickly run through these. It is, of course, the capital of the... He is the... The Shivering Isle. And then here we have Zedelian, which, if you remember in the last episode, Sheagorath told us to head to Zedelian to test out... Well, uh, I'll let the quest speak for itself. Yes, quite an amazing place, really. Wonderful for relieving one's tension as you watch those troublesome adventurers suffer. No offense. I'd say your next move is to head to Zedillion and get it reactivated. Yes? Ah, silly me. The book has no pictures. Can't really expect you to read that now, can I? Oh, come on now. To reactivate Zedillion for my lord's pleasure, you'll need to find three focus crystals and return them to their resting place. Each crystal has a matching receptacle called a judgment nexus. Even you can't miss them. Without the crystals in place, the Resonator of Judgment, Sedillion's power source, cannot be restored. You have the Attenuator, the Manual, and a... Place one foot in front of... The Mad God has... I'd suggest you... If only we could speak more often... Haskell, one of these days I'm going to win you over to my side, I assure you. Now, before we exit the palace, let me just show you guys that here on a pedestal, we have the replica gatekeeper head. And if you'll notice, there's lots of other pedestals here that remain barren. Also, if we take a look at this tree, again, it represents the mania and dementia side with the uh, blister pods being the dementia side. And what are these things called? The flame stalks being the mania side. So I guess I was right. The right side of Sheagorath when we're looking at him is the dementia side and also in the back well would you know there's a door to the fountainhead the door is sealed and will not open so we're gonna go ahead and be on our way now um i don't think that we'll be able to fit the entire quest in this one episode because i'm trying to do things right and sort of have characters expand on what we need to do because everything in the shiagorath uh in the shivering isles is wonderful but this quest is, uh, you know what, I was thinking, my favorite quest, I think I said, it, it's it's a hard choice between the finale of the Thieves' Guild, um, the whodunit quest in the Dark Brotherhood. There's so many amazing quests in this game, and this one actually might be my favorite. I have to think about it, but a better mousetrap is one of the best in the entire game, and you will see why. This quest is amazing. Uh, definitely my favorite DLC quest, without a doubt. And we were also given a book... Manual of Zedelian. Let's see how long it is, but you guys can pause and read this if you would like to. Yeah, not that long, but it kind of does spoil things from what I can tell. So I am not going to read it in this video. Meanwhile, let's head to Zedelian. It's all the way down here, which means we should travel to Hard Scrabble Camp. Maybe play a game or two. I don't know. I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to Scrabble. Now, since I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to do the entire quest in this episode, I guess we'll just take another... We'll, we'll, we'll start... We'll, we'll travel, you know, to, to see the countryside, to, she, to see the new Sheoff. God, I'm getting... Oh, man. <laughs> the terminology is so confusing because it's like Sheagorath, new Sheoff, Shivering Isles. Everything starts with a shh, you know? Okay, so we'll just, we'll just travel there for a little bit. Oh, man. It puts us right in the way of of, 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 look at all these mountains, the mountainous region. Um, let's see. We've got a choice to either go to the right over here to the, ah! So that will be a shambles, um, basically, if we wanted to go the path of Jared Ice Veins, we would have killed those things and made arrows out of their bones and then attacked the gatekeeper with said arrows. Uh, yeah, they're, they're basically more intimidating versions of skeletons, because in the Elder Scrolls, obviously, the, the skeleton enemies are just basic skeletons. They look like skeletons from any sort of lore or any other series or universe. Um, and those types of skeletons, I think I mentioned before, are not scary in the slightest. In fact, the complete opposite. Skeletons just look hilarious. Uh, their little faces, they always look like they're just wanting to say, like, Rah! You know, anytime you, you turn a corner in a horror game, you see a skeleton, you could just imagine them saying like, Rah! I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. So skeletons and everything have just been humorous to me. But the shambles and the shivering isles actually look, you know, decently uh, intimidating. Okay, we have a town uh. here. Ow. 
Felmor, and I think this was referenced, and it's quite funny because Felmor is a pretty dismal-looking town. I mean, what do we have? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, just three houses, and that's supposed to be one of uh, one of um, uh, Dementia's, you know, most famous towns. Because I, I do believe, yeah, somebody mentioned Felmore in, in the list of cities, where they also mentioned Bliss for Mania. And Bliss is far cooler. I don't think we, we... We haven't even been to Bliss yet, have we? We're really, truly exploring our demented side. Uh, we have another palace thing here. What, what is this? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, what is this? I'll go ahead and take what's ever in here. Gauntlets of the Pugilist. Fortify strength, 8 points. Agility, 8 points. Hand-to-hand, -hand, 8 points. Wait a second. Didn't we already get this from the... Uh, I could have swore, didn't we already get Gauntlets of the Pugilist when we were doing the arena and we searched that box? Or was that a different enchanted item? Either way, we'll take it. Shock Shield, why not? Amber Boots Matrix. It's wonderful that we already found a matrix. Uh, we will. I will explain what matrices are. Bet, you, bet your respect for me just went up a little bit because I knew the word matrices, which is actually the plural of matrix, right? Maybe? I found an unusual item called a matrix. It looks like a mold of some kind and seems magical. I should ask around. Someone in the Shivering Isles must know what this is used for. Sweet. Uh, I don't think there's much else to... Oh my god! Alright, let's be on our way, shall we? It looks like we're pretty close to Zedelian here. If that little marker on our map is indeed Zedelian. Uh, we are not going to fight that whole group of people. That's going to take ten years. And we're going to get very little out of it. And obviously they're summoning a lot of things. Now, we have found Zedelian. And up ahead, we have a Grumite. Although this Grumite is a little more evolved than the other one. Uh, other ones, as you guys can tell. He's actually standing on two legs. As opposed to the little Bollywogs we've seen before. Oh, they're still chasing me. Into Zedelian, we must flee. Grumite Cudgel. Oh, wow, look at that. It's already poisoned. I think that was a new thing with the Shivering Isles, too. Is that um, weapons could come pre-poisoned? Or wait, what is this? Because it has an effect. Drain magic of 45 points for 45 seconds. Oh, you know what? The these are very similar from what I remember to Trogs in the World of Warcraft universe. And that Trogs hate magic. And the only reason I know this is from the Hearthstone expansions. And, and just basically Hearthstone alone. Um, yeah, if you use magic when you're fighting any sort of Trog card, they usually get buffed. So, I wonder if it's the same, because, you know, Drain Magicka, like these Grumites, since they're big, stupid frog creatures, uh, it's always, like, anti-magic. But I don't know what the little poison thing here means. It may just mean that it's it's perma-poisoned, at which case, that's really cool. Unfortunately, we can't take it because it weighs 32. I am not actually sure about that. Huh. Okay. Let's make, let's make our way into Zedelian. God, I love jumping in Oblivion. It's so flighty. I've entered Zedelian! I should now begin locating the focus crystals that link the Resonator of Judgment with the rest of the dungeon. And if we look in our items, we should have... There we are. The Attenuator of Judgment, which is what Shea Gorath gave us, as well as the Charity of Madness, which is garbage with a capital G. I love the switches in Shivering Isles. They look like this, or the buttons, I should say. And you've also got this version, so you've got the Mania and Dementia version. I just, I just love themes like that, you know, themes of duality. It's really, really cool. You know, it adds a lot of spice to this DLC. Let's go for a headshot. We still need to work on our marksmen so that we can kill these people in one hit. Like, come on, man. Like, what? Seriously, when is the last time our marksman has increased, you know? This bow's really good, though. That 50 points of frost damage actually adds quite a lot, doesn't it? Uh, we definitely want to loot every single Grumite, pretty much every single enemy in the Shivering Isles DLC, as lots of them have Madness Ore, uh, or Amber, which we really want. And also matrices, like this, Madness Arrow Matrix. I found a matrix that looks like it might be a mold for a different type of armor. No, <laughs> looks like a mold for an arrow. 
I should ask around someone in the Shivering Isles must know what these things are for. So if you're wondering why we got two quests that sound exactly the same, one of them was for a Madness Matrix, while the other was for a Amber Matrix. And again, it's just, you know, two separate things. Well, two sides of a, of a coin. Okay, so we're looking for three, like, crystals, basically. And we want to also look around these totems because we'll have, yeah, all of these urns and things. And there's our level up. Not much in there. Okay, let us be on our way. I don't think we can go through that just yet. Although, I feel like sometimes you can activate this. And yeah, it'll say the, the gate is opened elsewhere. But I feel like sometimes it actually does open. I could just be flat out wrong, of course. Uh, we do also have a quest marker leading to something. You can see it's green. So, I wonder... If I do remember right, I think it will lead us directly to the crystal that we're looking to get. Um, let's see if maybe... Is our sneak well enough to kill this guy in one hit with a melee weapon? Whoa, that was weird. It, like, actually activated the, uh, <laughs> the swing way before I even wanted to. Okay, let's try to go for this guy. Uh. Is he dead? Did he just heal himself? Down he goes. Okay. We have no more arrows, so let's go into our weapons. And what type of arrows do we have? Arrows of flame. Arrow of flames. That probably adds some light, which means that enemies will see me coming from a mile away. Let's save our good arrows for, like, boss battles and stuff. Uh, we're going to, like, switch to exclusively marksmen, I think, from here on out. Because we really do want to start increasing it more than we have been increasing our blade. And this guy over here has a crystal staff. Shock damage, 15 points on target. We're going to go ahead and take that, and it's going to give us a focus crystal, which is one of the, I believe, three crystals we're looking for. I've discovered the first of the three focus crystals. It was affixed to the top of a Grumite Shaman's crystal staff. I think they are using the crystals as a power source for their weapons. Now that I've removed it from the staff, I should place the focus crystal in its judgment nexus to continue. I always laugh at the terminology they use for this quest. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> like, they could have just... Eh, I don't know. The judgment nexus? I've placed the first focus crystal in its nexus. I can now continue searching for focus crystals. Yeah, so this is not the part of the quest that I'm referring to when I say it's my favorite. Um, obviously, this is pretty straightforward. We're looking for three uh, crystals. We're killing three Grumites, basically. And I am being totally silent when we come across these. Because it helps me out greatly, I realize. Okay, we have a whole bunch of Grumites here. Again, I just wish we had... Is there an arrow that... Okay, so our arrow right now deals six damage. Now, what about other arrows? Seven, eight, nine? Let's use bone arrows. Perhaps it'll be the edge that we need to one-hit kill. Let's go for... I don't know what we should go for first, honestly. Let's go for this guy. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on! Don't ruin the combo, man. Okay, good. So if we have a 9 damage arrow, it will take down certain people in one hit, which is excellent. Want to make sure to loot all of our bone arrows as well. Not seeing any more, I don't think. Yeah, they have poisons of silence, too. So I do think that's the theme with these Grumites, is that they are anti-magic because they're so... What's the word? It starts with a P. I hate when I can't think of words that are very clearly in my brain. Pre it's not prehistoric, but it's something like that. Primordial, you know, something like that. It's, it's you know, they're very anti-technology, anti-magic. They're stuck in the past, basically. Oh, shoot! 
I actually fell for that. Wow. <laughs> totally forgot that existed. Okay, we've got some skeletons here. And a grumite. Sorry, buddy. Sorry he fell for the trap that is native to your own home. It's pretty disappointing, in fact. I mean, if we can sneak kill some grumites like this, we might as well do this. Oh, come on, man. Oh, this guy didn't get alerted, though. Yeah, it's doing like the... Um, it's really weird. It's actually swinging before I even swing. Like, uh, it, it's it's actually applying the damage before I, I even finish the wind-up animation. It's quite odd. It looks like our next shaman dude is right over here. Let's try to get one sneak attack, but unfortunately we have to go around the fire. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice job. You went invisible. Well, where'd you go? What's the point of going invisible if you're just gonna go... If you're just gonna take off the invisibility right afterwards, buddy. Come on. Learn how to fight. Okay, another crystal staff. And some aster bloom cores. I've discovered the second focus crystal. I should place it in its judgment nexus to continue. Boom. Place the second focus crystal into its nexus. I can now continue searching for the final focus crystal. And this is probably... Oh, no lock this time. Well, that is a nice change of pace, I must say. Okay, we're looking for one final focus crystal and also for any beds that we can see so that we could level up. Bone arrows don't do much. Oh, this bow must be out of charge. And we are out of arrows once again. Uh, let's stick with steel for now. I feel like our sneak is not going to allow us to remain hidden for long. Right in the head. Ooh, headshots feel so good. Okay, thank you very much. Let's go back into sneak. Um, since we have the dagger of the dynamo, we need to remember to utilize some of these soul gems. So let's see, do we have a lesser? Okay, let's let's fill up the dagger of the dynamo. Uh, dagger of the dynamo first and foremost. Okay, there we go. Cool. And now, now we can utilize the Dagger of the Dynamo to fill more soul gems. That Dagger of the Dynamo, as long as we keep refilling it, I mean, it'll last for a while. Uh, we should also get the, well, I'll just say a certain Daedric artifact that will help that process as well. Okay, we have two Grumites here. This bow should be charged, right? Why is it not glowing? Yeah. It's charged. Okay, so we should be able to actually take down these people with one shot. I think. Maybe. I like how they just fall backwards. Ooh! Right in the sternum, I guess. Okay, I'll take that. Grumite arrows. Yeah, why not? This guy is the poison guy, I guess. And it looks like our last crystals passed at least one door. Okay, is there anything else in here? Let's go up here. What in the world is that? Flawless topaz, huh? That's quite odd. Two more chests this way. Work with GV. Work with Papa GV. Come on. There we go. See, I'm getting much better. I, if I just... Oh. If I just take my time and don't talk, it seems to work every time. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, GV, you just need to learn to be quiet and, and you know, let, let the gameplay happen. But then that means I'm not talking and people aren't listening. And then what will they think of me? Zedelian Halls of Judgment. Okay, we have yet another Grumai in the distance here. Are you the one with the staff? <laughs> it deals like just enough damage and I don't know what's happening but it's like applying oh come on man I'm in the darkness oh, it's getting annoying running out of arrows let's just switch to the steel 
and stick with that until they run out. I don't want to waste all my enchantments on you, buddy. Fall. Fall, I said. You're very vigorous. I get it. Good job. Yeah. Unfortunately for you, though, I do not use magic, so your poisons have no effect on me. Yeah, see, drain intelligence, drain health. Oh, well, drain health doesn't stick with the theme, but... Getting a lot of lockpicks. That is right. I do remember the uh, Grumites have actually quite a lot of lockpicks. Um, they're kind of like the... The ghouls of the Elder Scrolls, with ghouls always having random odds and ends, um, but specifically lockpicks. If I remember right, didn't ghouls have a lot of lockpicks every time you loot them? Or am I thinking of a different enemy type? Uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna mess with these chests anymore. We're gonna speed this process up a little bit. Right in the neck. Next shot. Right in the butt. <laughs> I totally meant to do that too. Yeah. Give me your soul. No soul captured, huh? Third and final crystal staff. I've placed the third and final focus crystal into its judgment nexus. The path to the resonator of judgment itself is now clear. My next task should be to attune the resonator by using the attenuator of judgment that Sheagorath provided me. My heart goes out to any people that um, are playing this game from a foreign country or don't understand English or... I don't know, we're playing this game when the translation is god-awful because I can only imagine how Attenuator of Judgment, Resonator of Judgment, Focus Crystals, all of those crazy weird words came out. Probably not that clear, I would think. Oh my god, it never ends with you guys, huh? Okay, let's see. Let's go for the guy in the back first. Down he goes. Man, I cannot wait for my Steam Controller to come in. Um, I think I've mentioned to you guys that I did buy a Steam Controller as well as the Steam Link. Uh, it was very cheap. It was only like $25 or something for both. They had a wonderful like special going on. And from what, I, from what I understand, you can program the Steam Controller with an Oblivion profile so that it just works with Oblivion, you know? Unfortunately, which does not work with the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, because they didn't put full, like, controller support. But, from what I understand, the Steam controller will work. And so, as soon as that comes in, they are taking forever to ship it. But as soon as it comes in, um, I hopefully will be able to switch to that and we'll be able to use that instead. And it'll be a much better experience. The arrow hitboxes, by the way, in this game have, like, a crazy big range. Dude, give me a marksman increase. My god, how many arrows have I shot? Ooh, I love when I hit them in the head because... Whoa! How do you have a fireball? How are you shooting fires, fireballs at me? What the hell? Seriously, I... I do not remember Grumites being able to shoot fireballs out of their mouths. I don't remember that skill. Okay, let's loot all of these bodies. I think there was like one more person we didn't kill, right? Or we didn't loot, right? No, I guess three in here. Yeah, that makes sense. So here we have the Resonator of Judgment and... The Resonator of Judgment has been attuned. I should now make my way back to New Sheoth and report my success to Sheogorath. Oh, silly game. We've got much more to do with this quest than just reporting back to, to Sheogorath. In fact, we've got this teleportation pad to Zedelian, which we will definitely activate in the next episode, where we will see one of, if not my favorite quest, or parts of a quest, I suppose, in the entirety of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.